Get comfortable. Get comfy in your seat. Take a few deep breaths. As we take a journey into the field, Let's open up a portal of curiosity. And a tunnel of wonder. Into the vision of what life is like. when you let it be good. No, who, what, when, why, how. It's not that type of curiosity. The vision. What is and becomes when you let it be good? Just feel this pure. joy, happiness, contentment, ease, flow. When everything is let go, there is nothing to hold on to. There is nothing to hold on to when you realize you can let it go. And this activation, this meditation, operates on the verbal and nonverbal level. The transmission is giving you the clean vision. of letting it be good. Now that we're in the visionary space, calm, we can invite the enemy 
the villain here. The person, personality, object, metaphor. that you feel or experience. Not letting it be good. That negativity, that doubt, that skepticism, that self-sabotage, that unworthiness, that reality, and from this visionary space We have a big picture view. Of this entity or relationship. And so we're aware of a more subtle layer of understanding and language here between duality and oneness. Because in duality, we can have good versus bad, letting it be good, or it's not allowed to always be good with the bad. And inside that construct of duality, we see why there is a spectrum of good and bad. And we can allow and accept this spectrum of good and bad. But on a higher level, higher dimensional perspective, if you think about the expanse surrounding this duality of good and bad, that there is a greater good, a meta good, that comes from the oneness and interconnection of all things prior to human stories. Comparison. human fear. So letting it be good is more about insight and understanding and the enrichment of consciousness from self-realization. Letting it be good is not a active trying, but a subtractive inclusiveness of duality.
And when the personal beliefs of good and bad are seen from a greater perspective of universal imagination, all of a sudden it is exponentially easier to let it be good because you see that the force that is not allowing your permission, your allowance, your freedom, your worthiness for it to be good is merely the place in which you need to break your own spell of negativity. When you relinquish of duality, positive, negative, good, bad, right, wrong, hero, villain, You are then given the zero point reigns of your reaction. In this point of space-time, letting it be good is no longer within the field of human time. But the choice between truth and illusion. You are not letting it be good for the person tomorrow. You are letting it be good because you are the presence right now. There is so much love and passion when you no longer empower the reality of the inner battle with yourself 
but that you see it from the higher perspective that you are choosing to play with yourself.